So you've tried CrossFit, spin classes, Zumba, P90X, you went and got a gym membership, you got a personal trainer and did a little mini circuit, you did circuit training, that didn't work. You tried to go to the gym and do it yourself. And every time you failed at the gym, the story went something like this. You got lazy, you got really busy, you missed a bunch of workouts and then you just lost motivation. But I'm here to tell you that it wasn't the fact that you lost motivation. The problem was you never had motivation from the start. Let me explain with the story. I'm in the Navy and one time we went on a sail that was called Op Carib. You go down for two months down in the Caribbean Sea and you look for pirates and drug traffickers and stuff like that. Uh, we were going to be going down and we're from Can and I'm from Canada and the weather was going to be really nice and when we first went out to sea, everybody on the boat, which is about 270 people, Everybody was gung-ho to work out. We have a nice big weight room uh, in the hangar and we actually brought on some personal trainers to train us. At the start of the trip, it was crazy. There were so many people in the gym. Everybody loved the nice weather and everybody was getting in shape, either doing it themselves or following these uh, personal train sessions. And slowly but surely, through the two month sail, uh, everyone started losing motivation. Things would come up at work, you would be able to get a workout in, or you know, you could just lay down in your bed and just watch movies, it was way easier to do that. And over time, everything started dwindling down, and it came back to the original five or six guys that were working out, and we had already been working out before this, this fun trip. And uh, the one thing I noticed was that the five or six people that continued to work out, myself included, we were all training for something. And that's the issue when you try to do these new fun things. You don't have any real motivation. Yeah, it might seem fun or you might have friends that are doing it or you might be promised like really fast results. And obviously it's gonna seem really fun and new and you're gonna be motivated to start. But after two or three weeks, this motivation will subside and then you're left with your true motivation. And that has to come from a deeper source than you wanting to look good because for those five or six guys that were working out, we all wanted to, to have a better job. We were all training for either special forces, clearance divers, some other job that involves a lot of physical training. And I didn't really realize it at the time, but that was the trick to fitness, which, and I'm not saying you have to go out and become a special forces member, and, and by the way, I didn't actually make it. I was able to work out for two years consistently and and that's the lesson I've taken on since then for my my fitness endeavors. So basically, when you work out, everybody wants to lose weight. It's psychology 101. And for the human, there are burning desires that people want way more than everything else. And one of those things is uh, looking good naked. And that's why everybody's always motivated to go and try these new things for evolution purposes. Obviously, if you look better, then that means that you would have been a healthier person. So then you would rise up in the totem pole and you would get more of a choice for your sexual mate or something like that. But when we try these new, like fun fit different things like CrossFit when you're just trying something new but they don't really mean anything to you, all you're tapping into is just to look good naked. But when you choose something that means something deep down to you as well, you're gonna tap into other deep down desires and that's gonna actually push you through the days when it sucks and you don't wanna go and you don't have the motivation and the weather's bad and it's too early, you're actually still gonna just tell yourself, okay, we're going though because I want it because of this. For example, if you wanted to run your first marathon, right? And that might seem crazy to you right now because you, you, know, you couldn't even run around the block. That's a great ultimate goal to have because it's such a shoot for the star type thing. Now obviously you're gonna wanna have smaller goals on your way to that goal, like running a 5K, running a 10K. But when you have this very large goal that means something to you, so for whatever, whatever it is, you have chosen that goal. When you can accomplish that goal, it's gonna mean a lot of things to you. One of the burning desires is to impress your friends. That's why people buy really nice cars and all that, because they wanna feel superior to their coworkers, which obviously have the same amount of money, right? But if you can finish a marathon or something like that, Speaking more about your own brain, a lot of times in this world we're told to have low confidence, low self-esteem, 
and we kind of start to believe that we can't really amount to much but if you can achieve something that means so much to you that's so great you're gonna believe that you are worth more as well and that's gonna also be a huge burning desire so if you can choose something that's gonna allow you to get fit but also get you higher on the totem pole of your friends in your brain because you're doing something that they couldn't do and also you're doing something that you didn't think you could do so you're actually gonna raise your own self value these are the things that are actually gonna make you want to keep going and work out. That is basically essentially what bucket list fit is. It's where you choose things that mean something to you personally, right? It's like, I'm not going to come and tell you you have to run 20K or, you know, that's not worth it. It's, it could be anything. It could be running, biking, swimming, hiking. But you always like boxing and you want to get get into it competitively you know get into the amateur circuit maybe you've always liked baseball well take the whole winter off season and start and look up training plans of how like a baseball player trains and then go out and try out and go try out for that amateur team in the summer you know like the good adult league or whatever go try out for that or same thing for any sport really you know start training like you want to actually maybe you're never going to become pro you know you're older but you can still become the best you you can still become the best of your age group even. So these are all these little things. They're gonna mean the most to you. You know, someone might hear that and go, okay, that's not for me, but they can have something else to go for. So basically your goal is everything and it's truly gonna mean more to stick with it than it would mean any other type of workout plan. And that's what's gonna allow you to keep going after it you know, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. And you're not gonna just keep focusing on, well, have I lost any pounds yet? Or, or all these little small details, because I think most people know that it's the long-term fitness, long-term eating well is the key to getting fit. And then on top of that, you're actually gonna have a driving force to eat better because you're training for something. I mean, your goal is so big that you actually have to become the person you want to be. So it's actually gonna make it easier for you to eat better because you're gonna want to because you want to achieve the goal. So instead of forcing yourself to eat carrot sticks and lettuce every night and feeling like crap and feeling like you're missing on all this good food, oh no, I can't eat that, I'm on a diet. You're gonna say, oh, I could eat that, but I don't want to because I want to achieve that. And then that's really just the one mind shift the one mindset shift you're gonna have and then everything's just gonna fall into place. So go out, think long and hard about something that you really wanna do, you've always wanted to do, choose that, find a plan of how to achieve it and then just start going after it like that and that is the best way to get fit. But I'm here to tell you that it wasn't the fact that you lost motivation. The problem was you never had motivation from the start. 